Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today, let's make a neck fan-folded gravity dyed shirt. I prepped the shirt like normal and I have it turned inside out. For this design, I'm gonna fan fold the collar seam of the shirt. Once I have it fan folded, I'm going to tie it with some kite string. Then I'm going to continue fan folding on either side of this initial line and tying with kite string. I don't want to tie the entire shirt because I do want a gravity dye part of it, but I am going to tie down kind of a little bit past the sleeves of the shirt. I've left just a little bit of the very end of the sleeves out of the fan fold tie. To dye the shirt, I've placed it outside on top of a metal shelving unit. I've placed a couple of plastic containers down underneath on the second shelf to catch any of the runoff from the melting ice and dye. Then I'm using some of the silicone cake molds to make myself an ice barrier. I'm attaching them together, then to hold them up close to the shirt, I'm going to attach some wooden clothespins to the metal shelving unit. I'm going to apply the dye in stripes, and I'm using kind of a blue and teal color palette. I'm starting with Tropical Dream from Dharma, followed by Grecian Sea from Dharma, then Teal Blue and Wash Denim from Dye Spin. I'm going to continue the striping process until I get down close to the end, and then I'm going to switch and place the stripes going in the other direction, kind of to promote them streaming down the shirt.
Now I'm going to add an additional sprinkle of soda ash over the top of the dye. I'm adding this because I'm going to add quite a bit of ice to the top to promote that dye running down the shirt. And I wanna make sure I don't accidentally rinse out all of the initial soda ash that was in my shirt. For the ice, I'm using some larger two inch ice cubes. These are kinda of nice because it takes them a little bit longer to melt. I've added some process photos to kinda of show you how the melting process went and how the shirt looked as the ice was melting. Once all of the ice melted that was on top of the shirt, by then the dye had gotten all the way down to the very outer edges of the shirt. So I actually took the shirt and placed it inside of a plastic container that has a metal rack down in the bottom and allowed the shirt to process. I left it for about 24 hours after all the ice melted. I think the way the dye creeps down the shirt looks really cool in some of these photos. I did my normal rinse out. I started rinsing in cold water to rinse out the soda ash, then untied the shirt and warmed the water up to hot and continued rinsing to rinse out the excess dye that didn't bond with the fabric. I went ahead and soaked the shirt by adding some really hot water either to my utility sink or to a plastic container of some sort, added a little bit of blue Dawn dish detergent to the water and allowed the shirt to soak. When the water cooled off, I changed it out and continued that soaking process until the water was almost clear. Then I put the shirt along with some Dharma's professional textile detergent into my washing machine and I washed it using a hot water cycle. Then after the shirt was washed and dried, this is what it looks like. Okay, so what do you guys think? I think this one turned out looking really pretty. If you remember, I've made one of these before and I used like a green and more earthy tone color palette and I had problems getting the green and the rest of the colors to go all the way down to the outer edges of the shirt. So I thought I would redeem myself by using a different color palette and see if I could make it work. And it did. I'm really happy with the shirt. I think it looks really pretty. I always like a teal kind of aqua type color mixed with the blue. I think that's a color palette you just can't go wrong with. I also really like this design. I like the color movement, the way the dye kind of streaked down starting from the very neck portion of the shirt. I made the last neck fan fold because I had somebody ask me if I had a video for that. And I looked through my stuff and surprisingly I didn't. So that's why I made that shirt. And then of course when that one didn't turn out the way I wanted it to, I was on a quest to make it work. So overall, I consider this shirt a success. The dye moved all the way down to the outer edges of the shirt, and I think it looks really good. But what do you guys think? Do you like this one? Do you like this fan fold? Let me know how you feel about it. Please drop me some comments down below. And if you all are enjoying the content of this YouTube channel, I sure would appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. And if you enjoyed the video, I sure would appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up. So thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a great day.